Donuts. This is probably going to be Homer Simpson's favorite podcast episode ever because today we're talking about the affiliate donut. What the heck is the affiliate donut? Well, you'll just have to listen to find out. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy podcast. If you want to grow your income, serve your tribe, and enjoy all the benefits of affiliate marketing and having your own affiliates, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get started. So I get asked a lot about why would I promote other products? Like, doesn't that distract my audience? Why would I promote someone else's stuff when I have so many products of my own? Like, I mean, just off the top of my head, I think about, like, imagine if you're known for one or two products. You don't want to distract from those. But I mean, we have dozens of products. Off the top of my head, <laughs> and I'm going to forget half the stuff we have. I know we have Affiliate Insider Monthly. We have No Product, No Problem, Find Affiliates Now, Seven Figure Affiliate Launch, The Affiliate Code, 10K in 10 Weeks, List Launch Academy, List Launch Challenge. We have some of our mini courses, like our promo prep mini course and our Finding Affiliate Programs mini courses. I mean, the, the list really just goes on and on. Copywriting, we got a copywriting course, a copywriting mini course, you know, just specifically for affiliate marketing. We got our ultimate affiliate swipe file. Like the list goes on and on, right? I am positive that I could promote a product every, I don't know if I could pull off two weeks. You know, I don't know if I have, I don't think we have 26, but I could probably promote something every three weeks for a year and never promote the same thing twice. And so how can I have all those products and then still promote other companies, other products? Doesn't that, isn't that a distraction? Isn't my audience going to be like, well, I thought you were all about this or that. And I've shared these analogies because I like to create these vivid pictures in people's minds of affiliate marketing and, and the analogies that you know I can come up with. And one of the analogies that I came up with a while back, I talked about this about 17, 18 episodes ago, was uh, you know I did a podcast on lessons from a hater. And so I talked about the butt-sniffing monkey. And I shared how this guy, you know, I did a training for Jeff Walker's affiliates and they went on to have their second best launch ever, you know, which is amazing. And this guy was like, I can't believe you let this guy on. He's talking about butt-sniffing monkeys. He's so unprofessional. And I was like, you know, okay, whatever. <laughs> and the thing is, the example is basically talking about how there was this video of a monkey that, you know, falls out of a tree because he smells his butt. And it's, you know, this whole thing, right? And in college, we didn't have social media. We didn't have email. So we didn't know how, like, how do you get this thing from one person to another? So we just kept going around going, come here, come here, come here. You got to see this. And the lesson, of course, was, and you can go back and listen to that episode is that's all affiliate marketing is. is here's this product. Here's this thing. It's so good. You got to see it. And, and you're excited to share something. Well, another analogy that I've talked about, and I shared this with a client the other day. And as far as I know, I haven't shared this as a podcast episode. So if I have, oops, well, you know, it's a repeat of 500 episodes ago or something, is this affiliate donut concept. And I was telling him, like trying to get him to wrap his head around why he should be promoting affiliate offers. And I just said, okay, just picture this donut, all its glory, right? The glaze, the sprinkles. Mm, donuts. And so think about your products and your services. Those are the whole, right? In the middle of that donut, this is your core offer. These are the things that you are the expert on. You know, you're the fitness trainer and you know how to get people in shape, right? You're the accountant who knows how to do accountant, accounting. You're the expert on, you know, growing tomatoes hydroponically or whatever it is, right? This is the donut, this little part. If you think about it, just surface area wise, if you put a donut on the table and then measure the surface area, the donut is maybe 10, 20% on the high end, but the sprinkles all over this surface area of the donut. These are all the things that you're not an expert at. You're not the leader at, you're not known for, but your audience needs to know, they need to learn, they, they need to buy, they need them to do something. They might even need them to do something that accomplishes the thing that you teach, for example. And this allows you to better serve your audience. Promoting affiliate offers serves your audience by filling in the gaps in your own product offerings. You know, if you have, um, I, mean, I just mentioned a fitness trainer, right? You know, if you're a fitness trainer, you teach people how to eat right, how to exercise, you have products, you've got a nutrition product and, you know, some different levels of 
you know, exercise, but you got a beginner and intermediate advanced, maybe one for seniors, one for women, one for men, one that puts on more muscle, one that is about losing weight, you know, whatever. You get those. Those are your core offers. But if your audience is coming to you for help on those things, they also need time management. They need stress relief. They need to know how to set goals. They need productivity help. They need natural healing. You're not an expert on any of those. You don't want to be the expert on any of those. You have no plans on offering products in those areas anytime soon. Those are the donut. Those are the sprinkles in the donut. So how do you best serve your audience? Option one is do nothing. Offer nothing in those areas from you or from affiliates. And you basically are saying, screw you audience. I don't care that you want to know stress relief. I don't care that you want to know time management. I don't care if you want to set goals, be more productive or learn how to heal naturally. I'm not going to offer you anything. Or you promote products that fill those gaps. You promote the sprinkles. You know, if you're a financial coach, you teach people how to manage their money, how to invest. But the thing is, your audience also wants to know leadership, how to be a better leader. They want to know how to start a business, how to be an entrepreneur, how to find work they love. They also need productivity and goal setting. Like, it's kind of funny. (laughs) Those are almost universal things, right? Productivity and goal setting. Those are the donut. Those are the sprinkles. A little leadership here, entrepreneur stuff here, you know, Dan Miller's 48 Days to the Work You Love here, productivity, you know, from somebody like Robbie Miles, goal setting from Michael Hyatt or whoever, right? Those are the donut. Assuming you don't want to teach on those subjects, how can you best serve your audience? By recommending other products that teach those subjects. And then you make money. You make affiliate income. You know, if you think about it, you only make money from the whole and nothing from the sprinkles that's limiting your income too. That's a win-win. And the thing is, like, using these as examples, think about people who have more time because they're more productive at work. So instead of working 8.30 to 5.30 every day, they go to working 9 to 5. Working 9 to 5. Sorry. Um, so they, they go to work in a little bit less. If they work 45 minutes less, the day, you know what that does? It gives them more time to exercise. Maybe they're only exercising a half hour. Now they can exercise an hour and they have 15 minutes to cook better food that's healthier for them. So they're going to buy your fitness course because, well, I have more time. I'm not going to buy that dude's fitness course. I only got 20 minutes for a workout every day. I don't need a course. I just need to go run in place for 20 minutes. Do a few push-ups. I'm good. No, I've got time now. Oh, I can. I have an extra half hour a day to cook right. I better buy a course that teaches me or a book that teaches me how to cook better. They're going to buy more of your stuff. People who are better at setting goals are going to seek out financial counseling to help them reach those goals. We have a goal. That is a purely financial goal that cannot happen on our income from our business alone, more than likely. There's going to be some investing involved. And so we already do like, you know, traditional investing. We have a, you know, it's called the SEP, self-employment pension. We've got, you know, IRAs and things like that. And we've got, you know, we've got a very diverse portfolio and all that stuff. But this particular goal required some next level stuff that... I don't know anything about. So what did we do? We went and got a financial counselor. But what if I didn't have that goal? Now, this happened on my own. But what if I didn't have that goal? Then I never would have sought the help of the financial counselor. You know, the fitness trainer, back to that one. If they set goals to lose 20 pounds, now they're going to be more serious and they're going to buy your stuff to help them. In other words, this is the key. Your affiliate recommendations, the sprinkles help grow the whole. They help your sales not hurt them. They don't distract your audience. In fact, they can move them towards buying your products. You know, we have a client who's in the parenting space. She specifically helps parents of kids who have learning disabilities. Guess what? Most parents who have two or more kids who one of them has a learning disability, the others don't. So what about their kids that don't have a learning disability? How do they help them? She's not an expert on that. That's the sprinkles. Like this is still within, under the niche of parenting. This isn't even getting slightly outside the niche. What about the kids that have learning disabilities but want to be entrepreneurs? She's not an entrepreneur expert necessarily, so she can promote something as an affiliate for them. What about specific things within her, you know, there's like this thing and this thing, there's ADHD, there's autism spectrum, there's, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? Those are all, in some cases, the sprinkles. I've got another client who's, in a very specific, she's focused on specifically on, I don't know how to say it, people with, um, what's the gluten intolerance one? Celiac disease. 
That's her thing. That's all she focuses on. But what about fitness? What about other parts of the diet? You know, yeah, you have celiac disease, don't eat gluten. But what about the other parts, right? Like I said, what about getting in better shape? How do you, how do you get certain things done? If you, what if you're, if you got celiac, but you're an athlete, you know, things like that, right? Those are the sprinkles for her. Got another client who's all about public speaking, Trisha Brooke. But what about building your platform? What about growing your email list? What about selling something on the back end? What about creating a product or becoming the expert or growing on social media? Those are all sprinkles. She promotes others who teach those things. You know, I'm not a membership expert, but Stu McLaren is. Stu is one of my sprinkles because I know the importance of recurring revenue. I know the importance of a membership. It's why we created Affiliate Insider Monthly to, you know, for one, to serve our audience, but two, it creates recurring revenue for us. I'm not an expert on publishing books, but you know who is? Chad Allen. You know who's an expert on writing a book? Chandler Bolt. And if you want to self-publish, Chandler Bolt. If you want to get a contract, you know, a book contract like we did with Ben Bella, you know, Chad was a huge help. I learned from Chad. I went out and was able, you know, got, wrote the book proposal, got an agent, and we got a contract with my dream publisher. Turn your passions into profits. Coming out January, 2023, by the way. I got my dream publisher on that book because I followed what Chad taught. So I can highly recommend him. He's a sprinkle. I'm not an expert on copywriting. We have a mini course, you know, sells for less than hundred bucks on copywriting for affiliates. But if you want to get really, really good at copywriting, Ray Edwards, he's one of my sprinkles. Goal setting, Michael Hyatt. All of these things are my sprinkles. So that's what you picture. You got your core offerings. That's the whole. And the sprinkles, all the glorious sprinkles. (laughs) Those are your affiliate offers. They are not a distraction. They're not going to hurt your sales. In fact, if you do it right, they will more than likely help your sales and provide you a lot of income in the meantime from those affiliate offers. So my call to action to you, man, go out there and promote something. Find a sprinkle, just one sprinkle in the next 60 days and promote it like crazy and serve your audience, make a little bit of money, have some fun doing it. And uh, yeah, it's going to help that hole get bigger over time with your own offerings. So make sure you hit subscribe and share. You don't want to miss the next episode. I've got a three-part series coming up on affiliate marketing for authors. I'm deep in book mode. Like I said earlier, my book, Turn Your Passions Into Profits, is coming out January 2023. Coming out by, again, my dream publisher, Ben Bella, who's published like half the books that are on my bookshelf. And so I'm excited because this three-part series, we're going to talk about, number one, how to find affiliates for a book launch or really any launch for that matter. But we're going to hone in on some specific nuances with book launches. We're going to talk about how to run an affiliate book launch. And then we're going to talk about how to use affiliate marketing in a book. So if you have any interest in writing a book and launching a book, these next three episodes are for you. So make sure you hit subscribe, come back for those episodes. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for listening today. Remember to check out all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing at theaffiliateguide.tv. And if you have a question, ask it at asktheaffiliateguide.com. Who knows? Maybe you even be featured on an upcoming episode. And lastly, if you haven't yet, make sure to leave a rating and review wherever you're listening to this episode. See you soon.